Hey everyone! Today we'll be checking out farms across Newfoundland and Labrador. From robotic milkers to tractors that are guided by GPS, farms today actually use a lot of technology. Let's go take a look at the kinds of technology our farmers are using. In my facility, the cows get milked with a uh, Bomatic robot. It's an automated milking system, so cows milk 24 hours a day. When the cow goes into the automated system, into the robot, it gets scanned so it knows that that cow is due to be milked. The cow has, has access every six hours, so if that cow has access to be milked, it, the arm comes out, there's two cameras, there's a 2D, a 3D camera, and it scans with a laser, and then it washes the udder, preps the cow, and then it starts attaches the milkers one by one. And when the cow has finished milked, it retracts the milkers, it uh, re-cleans the udder, and then the cow leaves. It also gets, depending on the cow and how much milk she's making, it also balances her diet through grain. So while the cow is getting milk, the, the robot is actually dropping grain for that cow to eat. With cow health, like there's a tagging system that uh, all cows are tagged for traceability, tracking purposes, and with the robot as well, um, that, tag is, that tag is also centered with a transponder for each cow. So when that cow enters the robot, it knows that cow is in there, it monitors her motion for that day, how much milk, everything she gives. And by using all those parameters, it sort of builds a history on that cow. And if something changes, if there's a deviation in milk production, deviation in their activity, it can, uh, it's a very good tool for you to target a specific cow in order to determine, okay, is that cow sick or is she just having an off day? It's a good technology in my opinion. It, uh, it frees up the dairy farmer's time. If cows weren't tagged individually for, for traceability and identification purposes, it is possible to be able to monitor your herd without the tagging system, but it makes it much more difficult. With the tagging system, uh, it helps you monitor your herd because every cow is tagged individually, and you can reference that tag number. Like I have a laptop with a management software, so you can reference those tag numbers on there, look at the cow history at a click of a button. So the, you know, the traceability through the tagging system, is uh, it's a great tool used on a dairy farm. So some technology we use on the farm um, are milkers. So these automatically come off, we attach them to the cow, and then uh, when the cow is finished milking, it comes right off. Some other technology we have is our computer system. One of the most important things on farm is actually my phone. The data that's on my phone uh, collaborates with the data that's on our computer, which also connects with the cows that are in the barn and their air tag. That can help me tell if a cow is sick. It gives me some information on her so I can go back and check her out fully on our computer um, to know her health record. So there's actually a cow I'm concerned about right now. So let's go check her out. Fourteen sixty four is the cow that um, I came to check on. She hasn't been quite as active in the herd as we'd like to see, not moving around as much. Um, the number that we identify her as is the big number on her tag. You'll also see that she has a smaller number and that's her national number, so kind of like her social insurance number. Um, every cow has one of each number, the big one and the small one, and that helps us identify them in the herd and nationally. We have all the information we need on 1464. Um, the information we have is her age, so she's five years old and four months. She's had four babies. She's currently giving 91 pounds of milk, which is about uh, 40 to 50 liters. With this information, such as her calving date, we can tell that she was recently sick after she had her baby. So right now she's still recovering from being sick previously. Now, let's take a look at what technology is used on a sheep farm. The main technology we use for farming sheep is the handling system that we have um, and with that we have an animal production software program uh, that all the information of the sheep goes into that and we get to use a RFID tag reader so every sheep has a uh, electronic tag and that machine communicates with the main database and with that we can go through all the animals and it does the history of the animal, who they are how much they weigh, we, we've seen them last, or if there's any animal conditions or anything we have to do. So this piece of technology here is a uh, tag reader. So this records the microchip that every animal has in its ear tag. 
and it communicates through Bluetooth or through wireless with the other, the other system and our computer in the office. And I can go over to an animal and just press the trigger and it records its number. So I can just go right over here and lay it in and the number comes up here automatically of who it is. So here the, the handheld is, is uh, communicating with the database and we can weigh everyone individually. So right here, this is where her tag number is. It comes up. This is her current weight. Uh, I recorded here as her live weight. Under her life data, this comes up right now. Her current average daily gain is only 0 0.01 of a kg. And overall, it's 0 0.02 of a kg. It really helps us keep our numbers straight and who's who. Um, and without having to have the human error of writing down a lot on paper. Um, because it gets very complicated if you have to do that. This makes our life a lot simpler and with the Bluetooth technology and having this communicate also with our computer in our office, we can have this data anywhere we are with, our, with that program. So we just came in from the barn and here I am with the TSI2, which is actually what it's actually called. So this is where our animal production software comes into play and we're going to transfer information um, to the computer. Um, so right now I can go into our options here and our session of what we did today would, on the handling system. Um, I can go in to, to select that information and it brings up all the information we just did. So we just did live weights on all the, on the U group. Um, so that's all the female sheep that we had in that one group and all their life data. Finally, let's take a look at a GPS tractor. A typical day on our farm, we milk 200 cows and we farm about a thousand acres. So there's not really any sort of a typical day on the farm. So basically a GPS tractor is a tractor that has a, a guidance system in it. So what the tractor can do, it can steer itself and it can track its uh, way across the field. Basically what it does, it sets up a curve and it follows the curve the entire way across the field. So we use that for doing all the precision uh, work on the field that we do. The way that it's made it probably the easiest for me on the farm is I've been able to delegate a lot of the work that I used to have to do myself because I was so concerned about uh, making sure the work was done right and precisely. Now I have the ability to train the other employees to use the GPS on the farm and they can set the tractors up. The biggest way that it would be different if we didn't have GPS on the farm is you're going back to doing a lot of guesswork. And the, the beautiful part about this, like when we used to spread fertilizer, we used to have to wait till the grass was high enough so you'd be able to see your tracks of where you've already spread. Now the day that you cut the grass off, if we get rain the next day, we can go on and spread our fertilizer right away because we don't need to follow tracks anymore. We just punch it in the, we pull into the field, like we have a, every field on the farm has a name and a number. So you pull into the field, you punch the number in and the track's already there. You just pull in, start spreading and uh, you don't have to worry about waiting for certain times or waiting for crops to be at certain stages, you can apply at any time. It also maps everything that's already been done. So if we got three quarters of the way across the field and we ran out of fertilizer and had to go home and refill, you can map what's already done. So it puts a track on your GPS to show you exactly what's already been covered and what hasn't. There's no real typical day on our farm. Uh, every day is different and that's the best part about farming and what I love about it is the fact that Whenever you wake up in the morning, you never really know what you're going to have to face or, or what, uh, what challenges are going to present themselves. It's just figuring out a way to handle them and deal with them the best that you can and, and uh, keep on working. For me, the best part about being a dairy farmer is, well, you're your own boss. Uh, I enjoy working with animals. You're providing a service, providing uh, you know, top quality uh, food for, for the communities. And I just, like I said, I just enjoy the part, especially the animals. Working with the animals is, is the best part for me.